Hello and welcome back to another episode of Fallout 4 on Nixus Gaming. We're here in Sanctuary, uh, where we left off last time, where I made this sweet new railroad painted power armor here. And uh, we were running into a little bit of an aluminum shortage here. And I said I wouldn't, but I did it anyway. I went ahead and I went down to Diamond City and I tracked down an aluminum shipment. So that's 50 aluminum here. I also bought a couple of odds and ends there for a tiny bit more aluminum. And we have aluminum now, so we can go ahead and make another display here. Now, problem with that is I think I want it to attach to this Minutemen one here. So we're going to need to move some of these power armors out of the way. I didn't think ahead whenever I put all these here. I think, actually, we'll just start lining these up next to the station here on the opposite side. By the time we got to move them we'll, them, we'll have to move the station, you know? Uh, I think that should be good there to go ahead and build another display. And uh, let's see, that's the base color, so we'll just get the next one in line, which is the blue one. Make sure to attach the light to it. And let's go ahead and move this guy over. Uh, we should make two displays because I'm actually going to go ahead and paint another set of armor here because we have extra T-45 pieces laying around. And I think I want to start my military line of paints. And there we go. There's the railroad armor set in place. Uh, I don't have a full set of T-45 out right now. Oh, I think I do, actually. This one here. Yeah, okay. Uh, we're going to paint this one military green. The military paint can go on all the power armors, or at least the four main models. So we're probably going to... Uh, Hancock, do you mind? Do you mind, buddy? Hey, hey. Hey, I need to use this, buddy. Uh, so preferably, unless we have access to a unique paint or want to do that, then any extra armor sets that we get, we're just going to start with the military line and go through there and do it that way. Uh, but let's see. T45 material military paint. That takes even more aluminum. Why does everything suddenly take aluminum? It is what it is. We'll be fine. Why does my... My Geiger counter keep going off whenever I do this. Is this like radioactive paint? That's an interesting thing, but I guess it makes sense. All right, and we'll get this. And look at that. Almost all of our aluminum is gone already. It's going to be gone when we make this uh, next display. But basically, the military paint is literally just green like that. Nothing too special with it. If you look at the um, the Minuteman one, it actually has the Minuteman logo on it, and this actually has the railroad logo on it, so those are a lot cooler. But, you know, it's still something to collect. Like I said, we got all the power armor pieces, so we might as well, right? Uh, for the military one, or the military line, I'm actually going to line these up kind of opposite the, uh, the main line here. And we'll just kind of start doing aisles like that. Probably want to move it over. But yeah, we'll, we'll have all our default ones here. Then we'll have our faction ones and unique ones lined up there. And we'll start making aisles with the other paints. I am actually going to move this over a little bit. Move it to right about there, I guess. That gives you enough space to walk through. That's all that really matters, right? And also, of course, got to attach the wire over. Uh, how many sets will this be? Six, seven, eight, nine. That is not bad. Not bad at all. I'm not going to paint any more right now. But um, I'm pretty sure we have more extra pieces in our um, storage good. over there that we can start painting more of these with. It's just something we can do with all these extra power armors we have everywhere, you know? And there we go. A nice green suit right there. Alright, now to the meat 
of the episode. I'm sure you guys want me to do something. We're going to go back to the Railroad HQ and hopefully we're going to get a uh, another jackpot quest from Pam. Pam! Pam, Pam! How many times can I make that office joke before it gets old? Pam! All blue, huh? Not a bad look. Mr. Timms is still here. Still hasn't left. Uh, drummer boy, Pam got Pam anything? Wants you. Yeah. She explained why, but I couldn't figure it out. Oh, uh, it's okay. Up I'll there? figure it out, buddy. Assume you're being watched. Always. Pam. Agent identified. Another DIA cash awaits recovery. Did the DIA have a lot of these caches? Exact number of caches is unknown. A small percent of my processing power is dedicated to analyzing stored records and breaking its encryption. I can recover it. Location of I can do it. I'll recover the cache. Boy. Conversation terminated. Okay, this is either going to be Medford, uh, oh no, it's Ruined Skyscraper. So the last one we do will be Medford Memorial Hospital. I have no idea where the Ruined Skyscraper is. Oh boy, it is pretty much in the exact same area as where we went last time. What are the odds that I fast travel here and all the super mutants have not respawned? Because that would be great. That would actually be amazing. And it looks like they're still dead. How good, how good. Um, I want to say it's literally this building right here. But it wants us to go through a lower entrance. And I mean, we can do that. Oh no, it might actually be across the way here. Yeah, never mind. It's not that building. It's across the way. Can we get down safely from here? Looks like it. I'm going to quick save. I want to make sure this location is the right one right here. Oh my god, that's a big drop. There are raiders down there. And maybe we don't. Maybe we'll just come in here. Pinnacle High Rise. Of course... Gunners and super mutants. Now this building, I am pretty sure I've been in before. Pretty sure I cleared it out with the um, fallen skybridge area. Okay, let's just work our way. Hey, do you mind? Just want to make my way over to this wall here and get whatever is in here, which doesn't look to be anything great, if I'm being honest. Uh, 308 rounds, plasma grenade, and a mine. We'll take those. That's pretty much it. Oh, and a stealth boy. Cool. Uh, this is Pinnacle High Rise, so I'm going to pause here, check and see... Like, maybe what location is right outside of it, first of all. But also, like, if there's any other loot here I need to worry about. Okay, yeah, so this uh, Pinnacle High Rise is literally part of the Fallen Skybridge area. So I did actually clear that out a while ago. 
That being said, there's no important loot there except for the stealth boy in the cache we just got. And that location I was looking at right there is completely different. That is the postal square location. And I don't want to discover that, so it's back to the railroad we go. a lot of sense in play right now makes things really all right dangerous. let's go see pam and turn this in we'll secure the area analyzing you can Current send a runner to the dia complete. cache reward dispensed future tasks may be assigned all right and there we go we got the jackpot for the ruined skyscraper All processes are busy and we still can't get that one from her. I suppose you're here for my And I don't think Drummer Boy will point us back. Oh, he's getting up for something, maybe. Heads up. Tom's got more goodies in stock. Check with him. Oh, Tom's got more goodies? I think Tom gets more stuff in his shop, like the more radiance you do with the railroad. I think. I'm not really sure how it works though. Like a lot of people tie it to the weather vane quests. I don't think it's really related to that at all. I think he just gets more stuff in his shop based on how many radiance you do. Either way, it doesn't matter to me. Uh, we'll fast travel out, and then we'll fast travel back in, get the next jackpot. We have plenty of time to do that this episode. It's at a location we've already been to, so it should just be wandering in, killing new people, and getting it, and leaving. And since we have so much time left over, because that was a lot faster than I thought it'd be. I thought the ruined skyscraper would be like a whole new location. I was wrong. Is the only thing I can drink um, I'm gonna up. look Otherwise. and see if we have a T60 suit. Or a T51, my bad. Or enough parts for a T51. Because I know we have more parts in our storage over here. We got plenty of Raider power armor. Plenty more T-45. If we can't do a T-51, we'll do another T-45. But it looks like we definitely do have the T-51 stuff we need. That's a torso, a right arm, left leg, right leg... Uh, we need a left arm and a helmet. That is a full suit of T-51 right there. I don't think we have enough aluminum, though. I was going to paint it as the um, as the military one, just add another display over here. But we do not have enough aluminum to even make another display, which is great. Need something? What, what are the odds? Anything with aluminum. Literally anything. Aluminum can, canister. If you have an aluminum shipment, that would be great. You do not have an aluminum shipment. And I don't think you have anything else with aluminum. Nope, you do not. But I'll take what you gave me. Here, have one of those in return. That way you're still giving me caps. That's all that matters. As long as you give me caps, I stay in the green. Okay. So yeah, I think with this... Oh, we need oil? How are we out of oil, too? We have so many... So much scrap everywhere. Yet we're running out of some stuff. How How is this happening, dude? What have you got to trade today? All right, let's run through this again. Anything with oil. Blowtorch. Flip lighter. Gold plated flip lighter. Paint can. And that's all. Okay, here, have a uh, plasma grenade and um, a sweater vest and a 
And a Radex. And a Radaway. Perfect. They didn't tell me much. All right, now we should be able to at least build the display. Yeah, there we go. Uh, we're doing the second one, the blue one, yeah. And we'll wire this here. Uh, I do apologize if while I'm talking you hear some pops in the background. It is actually 4th of July when I'm recording this, and people are popping off fireworks right now. So, that's fun, isn't it? All right, um, do I have an incomplete T-51 anywhere? No, I don't. So we'll just use this empty suit of power armor here. Oh, that's completely broken. So we need to repair these. I think that's the only helmet I got. Uh, if I have another left arm, then we'll use that. But, uh, hey, hey you, what? Cricket. This place just has four here, I'll, I'll come back to Cricket. Uh, not where I need. I need this. Can I repair stuff from here? Or do I have to repair it from... How do I repair stuff? I don't repair stuff in this game. I, I, I'm assuming it's power armor, right? So I repair it from... It should have told me how to repair it whenever I um, tried to transfer it in. They can't be equipped until they've been repaired. Maybe. Oh yeah, here we go. So why repair? Just needs steel. Okay, easy repairs at least. Easy repairs, nothing too special needed. Why? I didn't want to put you there. Actually, you know what? You're empty, so... I'm going to take all these back. Not you. Take, where, where, where'd the T-51, there it is. Now I'll take all these back, get stuck in between the armors, and we'll just put them on you since you decided, hey, this is your new power armor stand. Okay, I don't think I'll be able to paint all of this. In fact, I can't even do one bit of paint. Don't have enough aluminum. We'll check if Cricket has enough aluminum. And hopefully she does. If not, we'll just pass on it for hey, now. Cricket. Come on, come on. Get your guns. Let's see what you've got. And there they are. Mm hmm Cricket's always fun. Uh nope. No aluminum. Love that. Okay. We'll we'll just pass on painting that for now. I think in between episodes, I'll sort through all the extra pieces I have and at least start putting full suits together. That way we know how many we can paint and actually do stuff with, and that'll give me an idea on how much aluminum I actually need. Uh, but for now, we got this one on the back burner. I was just going to paint it the military green for now. And yeah, we'll see what we can do with that probably next time. But... For now, let's go back to the railroad and get the third and final jackpot quest. Sure, you're never followed here. It's all our asses if you are. Okay, drummer boy, where you at? Pam needs you in her room. What a surprise. I don't think you can actually get the quest until he tells you about it, so... Processing. Further supplies needed to maximize defined goals. You are tasked with finding another DIA cache. I can recover it. Location of cache being transmitted to your Pip-Boy. Conversation terminated. Alright, we get another RFID, and like I said, we're going to a location we've already been to before, the Medford Memorial Hospital. I think we went there not too long ago for a, um, a Randolph Safehouse quest. And I had mentioned that there was a piece of loot that uh, was on my list that we couldn't get because we had to come back here for the cash. 
Can't remember what that is, though. I would assume it's a stealth boy. I think there have been stealth boys in both the other caches. Okay, are the enemies respawned here? I don't see any super mutants outside. Maybe if they haven't respawned, then this will be even easier than I thought. Hello, anyone in here? Anyone at all? I think they would have come out and seen me by now. I don't see any of the dead bodies, though. Cash is right up there. Is it possible for them to wipe the bodies out, but not respawn the enemies? I don't know, I think we're good. I definitely would have seen some enemies by now. I don't think they respawned. Okay. We got 308 rounds, 44 rounds, a frag grenade, a bull barrel hardened 44 pistol. I'll take that to look at. A stealth boy and a stim pack. And that's about everything useful from there. That one was actually a little bit more useful of a cache, though. Yeah, no, it's not as good. Why did you drop both of them? I pushed the button once, and you decide... No, you pushed it twice. I'm going to make you drop both of them. Whatever. We got it. We're out. Super easy jackpot quest. Super easy. I mean, both the other caches were literally right in front of the entrance we went into, and this one was already cleared out, so... Easy. Go ahead and fast travel back to the railroad, turn it in. And I think we might just, well, I don't want to spend the rest of the episode doing power armor stuff. Because that's like, we've, we're have we only halfway through the episode, we've hardly done anything. I want to actually do stuff, you know? Uh, there is another side quest we can look into here, and I think Pam gives it as well. Processes are busy. You can send a runner to the DIA cache. Human interface. Well done, agent. Runners will be sent to acquire contents. Reward dispensed. All right, and there we go. That is all three jackpots done. I'm gonna do a quick save here, Pam. Because, like I said, there's one more. Brovian method. Recalibrating using new data set. I don't think we can get it from her. It's a uh, variable removal. I'm pretty sure we get it from her. Uh, does Drummer Boy say anything to us? Uh, <clears throat> heads up. Tom's got more goodies in stock. Check with him. Okay, more I stuff in uh, Tom's shop. To That's all he says. At least not Carrington. so. We'll fast travel out, I guess, and when I'm back in Sanctuary, I'll pause and look up, just make sure I know how to get this other quest from Pam. Because we definitely have the time, we can probably knock it out. So as it turns out, this other quest that I wanted to grab from Pam, she doesn't offer it until you've completed the molecular level, which is another story quest that we haven't done. So we can't do that. 
which on a good note means that our it's one less side quest we got to do for the railroad. All that remains for the radiant quests that we can do for the railroad right now are the weather vane quests. And the weather vane quests are more limited ones. Use the back entrance. Like you Too can do the church and we'll burn Like there's a limited out. amount of them. They're radiant, but there's 10 of them that you can do total. But I don't think there's much reward Deacon's for doing more best. than just the first you can one. Learn a lot from him. So I'm going to kind of play it by ear here. Heads up. Tom's got more goodies in stock. Check with him. And I'll do the first one if it's listed as like Weather Vane 1. And they have numbers after them, then obviously each one is technically a different quest, which means I would like to do them all. But if it's literally just Weather Vane 1, then or it's literally just Weather Vane, then I probably won't do them. But we got to find Tinker Tom. Here he is. Hey. Come on, buddy. Get up. Now, I bet he sells aluminum. The sensor sweep says you're clean. Hooray! We're bug free. I went through a sensor sweep? Every test does will let me run. Full EMF scan, biological sniffers, and other state-of-the-art security. So the sweep says the Institute isn't watching you. Or us. But the tests lie, man. Okay, have you eaten anything out there? Because if you have, they got you. Yeah, I've eaten food. Oh, 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 I knew it. The Institute has these tiny microscopic robots in the food, man. And they report back. Tom, that's a rubbish. You just don't get it, Carrington. The Institute is in your blood. If true, that's terrifying. If he had a shred of evidence for any of it, agreed. <laughs> Quite terrifying. Okay, okay. If you really want to be safe, let me give you a little shot. There's, there's the motor. Says no one has to, but it will kill those little robots. There's battery acid in that serum of yours. You can't nuke an omelet without irradiating some eggs. You ready to shoot up? Why not? Hit me, Tom. Yeah, now you talking. I don't even know what this is. I don't know if this does anything to you. I'm blacking out. Um. Now you're encouraging him. Hey, you. You get it, man. Vision's blurry. I make things around here. You, you go and do. You do whatever. And come back, and I will set you up. I'd appreciate the help. You and me, we will team up. And kick those son of a bitches out of here. Now, I got all these ideas in my head. So building time. Like, all my HP is gone from that? Oh, boy. <clears throat> I was power napping, and whammo, it hit me. Got some ideas on how to kid out deliver. Make your super badass gun even more. Well, more. So check out my stock. Okay, he's Let's supposed to okay. give me a weather vane quest, but he's not. Let's check it and see if he has no aluminum. Okay, cool. Uh, one of the things he does sell, though, is the deliverer. No, he doesn't sell it. The deliverer is the prototype that I think you got. Uh, when you went to the switchboard, but he sells mods for it, which is kind of cool. You can outfit it to be pretty, uh, pretty dangerous, I guess. But I'm more interested in this weather vane quest. Okay, so I don't know why he didn't give me the quest, and as far as I know and have read online, it comes from him. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast travel out and then back in and hope he gives me the weather vane quest. Hopefully. It might have been that his uh his first conversation overrode it for some reason. I don't know. It's a weird game. Stuff happens. All we can hope is that we can fix the bad stuff that happens. Home sweet home. Okay, now we just fast travel back. We are still at really low health.
And let's see. Is Drummer Boy running up to us? Glad you're with us. I don't even see Drummer Boy. Oh, All there right. he is. Now be careful with that gun. Real careful. What? Tom wants you for something. Okay, Tom wants me for something. Some real oomph to it. Me and the boys Hi. tiny little package, but a hell of a big kick. Is it safe? Dez has given me clearance to set up my atmospheric sensors. Finally, I can prove that the Institute is terraforming the Commonwealth. Eat that, Carrington. Why would the Institute terraform the Commonwealth? He goes back to the big war. Who set off the first day bomb? The Institute did. They started the whole war to kill everyone except their own diabolical scientist. But what's that have to do with terraforming? Everything, man. You see, humanity didn't kick the bucket like they planned. We're still hanging on. So first step, artificial people come to infiltrate, spy, and salvage the metric tons of gizmos they need. And once they get all the parts they need, whammo! The big atmospheric converter inside Blake Tower starts spewing poison into the stratosphere to kill every last one of us. Give me details. So my sensor, I call a Mila, needs to be up high, real high. Dez forced me to put some cameras and, you know, other low-tech surveillance crap on it to watch the Freedom Trail. Chuck that stuff if you need to. Like, you know, who couldn't spoof a conventional camera, right? We need cameras watching the trail? Look. I engineered the trail markers in code phrase myself. So anybody comes looking for us, whammo, spotted a mile away. Sure, the cameras could add a little insurance, but discovering the truth about the Institute's real plan is way more important. I got the perfect spot picked out. Set Mila up and let the juicy data pour in. All right, so we got a Mila here. You say safe? We got to go to Parkview Apartments yeah, man, I'm, and I'm set good. this up. Probably. The math looks tight. Um. Whoa! Jesus. Terry? Where's Terry? Oh, yeah, yeah. Too much nitroglycerin. Back to the drawing board. Back to the drawing board for them. Jesus. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and pop that just in case I fast travel and get shot immediately. Uh, we got Parkview Apartments to go to, which we've already... Weren't we just there earlier? No? Yeah, we were literally just there a couple episodes ago. We did the uh, the concierge quest here, I'm pretty sure. We'll go ahead and knock this out for this episode. This should be quick and easy. Have the enemies respawned? I don't think they have. Cool. We'll uh, just go up then. We got nice stairs here to help with that. And basically, the idea of these weather vane quests... Oh, uh, we do actually... We have to cross from up there, I guess. Okay, we'll go through here. The idea of these weather vane quests is basically Tinker Tom's paranoid. He thinks the Institute's terraforming everything. So we got to get these sensors up in high places for him to, you know, sense stuff. Also, got these lovely decorations around here again that I completely forgot about. This is really just like a messed up raider base. There's so many heads around, you know? Okay, this should have put us on the roof of one building, and we just need to go across to the other side, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we gotta set it up right over here. And easy as that, we just go back to Tinker Tom. Now, they won't all be that easy, of course. We've just been to this location very recently, so there are no enemies, but I think quite a few of them do send you to locations that you wouldn't go to otherwise, you know? 
So it might be a big process. And I think I've thought about it. I will probably do all 10 of these. Sorry. Take a Tom's got me. Do just to get them knocked out of the way. Again, I don't think there's any real uh, reward for doing it, but well, I will do all 10 God. of them. Hey. Neil is transmitting loads of information. At first glance, the atmosphere appears normal. But I'm going to dive deep into the data. I already lined up another place to stash one of my babies. If you got the time. All right, and it's also sort of like how Preston handles his radiant quests. How you'll just automatically go into the next one, which nobody likes that, but at least these are limited. Eventually they will stop. Preston will just give you unlimited boys radiant are still quests. All the toys you found from the DIA. Nice. So, next up, we are going to the Corvega assembly plant, which is another location that we've already cleared out. I might be able to knock out two of them this episode. Okay, there are raiders here. I think we actually want to go around to the back. If I remember right, there's a staircase leading up to the roof from the back. I want to go through here with at le the least amount of conflict possible because I really don't want this episode getting extended too long. What the? Just because I'm trying to do an extra quest after already doing three of them this episode. I don't see a staircase here. I might have been wrong. Hmm. Yeah, we might have to... I don't know... Why a lot of people are dying where I'm getting all the XP. I think I can cut through there, maybe? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure there's an outside way up to the top here. Oh, maybe it's here? These raiders are so confused on whether I'm actually here or not. I think one of them's caught on. He's shooting at me. Ah, there's a way up right there. Cool. Oh my god. What happened to your body, dude? I'm just gonna go this way. I missed. How did I miss again? Easy. Oh, hey. Good. This is a good pistol. This is a really good pistol. Uh, we'll take those. Who? Someone else is shooting at me. I don't know where I'm going. I should probably mark that. It's up on this side somewhere. Like up top there, I think. Oh yeah, right there. Who's shooting at me from up here? Okay, easy as that. We're already up here to put another Mila up. Now, I won't be able to fast travel from here, unfortunately, with these guys shooting at me. I don't know where this one is, but if we can spot him and take him down, right there. Hancock's down there dealing with them. I don't know if I should help him. Can I fast travel anyway? Just leave these guys behind? That would be nice. I can.
We send a holiday, and boom, everything taken care of. Cool. Kind of Let's turn in this one, and we might, Excuse me. for like the last three minutes or so, look for some aluminum to bring back to Sanctuary to make more uh, displays and power armor and stuff. The latest atmospheric reading from the new Mila is still inconclusive, but we'll catch the Institute. I know another building that could use a Mila. Or we could just do some business. All right, and we'll see where he's sending us to now, Camp Kendall. That is actually a new location, and I don't want to do that right now with it being so late in the episode. So yeah, let's head to Diamond City and look for some aluminum. Alright, so I got a shipment of aluminum here, and that was from the uh, the gun guy over there. Arturo, I think his name is. I don't know if he would have restocked it by now, though. He's not even out here. What about you, Percy? Alright, let's sure. barter. Let's take a look. Do you have anything? Uh, you have cake pans. No aluminum shipment. Uh, wake master alarm clocks. We'll take those. That's pretty much all you have, though. Uh, take a couple of these. I guess we should wait for him to open up. It's like daytime. It can't be too long, right? I don't want to head in to my home base place and sleep for like literally 30 minutes, you know? I'm just going to wait here. I'll pause and unpause when he comes out. Okay, I did end up just going into home plate and sleeping for a couple hours. It's a little bit past nine. I also bought a, uh, a thing of oil. Not a shipment, but just a couple things that had oil in them from Percy before I went in. So let's see what you have. You had what I needed last time. Don't forget to stock up on ammo. I would love it if you had another shipment of aluminum. That is great, dude. You're amazing. Uh, I don't think we'll be able to cover the cost through items, though. I mean, I have a fusion core, but I don't want to sell that. Um, you know what? We'll bring our, our med count down to 30 for this. Still think that's way more than we actually need, you know? Still won't fully cover the cost, but we won't get, be giving him as much caps. We're staying over 50,000 caps. Okay, we got aluminum, and we got some oil. And that'll let us do some stuff back at Sanctuary. Uh, in between episodes, I will probably be going through my, um, my power armor pieces and just start putting together full suits of power armor. Like I said earlier, that way we know what all we need to paint and how much aluminum we'll need at the moment. But um, I don't think I'll actually build anything right now. We'll probably just go ahead and end the episode off now. So thank you. Actually, no, we won't end it off now. Before we do, we'll, we'll look around at the merchants at Sanctuary, see if we can get more aluminum or oil. Do we have? I gave up alcohol after seven no, we don't have a caravan years. here, sadly. My liver. But we can check the vault tech rep. He has a chance. What have you got to trade today? Let's see, we're looking for aluminum and oil. He's got the aluminum. That's good. That's what we really need. Well, I guess we don't need it as much now. We need more oil because we didn't get a shipment of that. Not really seeing. There's some more oil. There's some more. Every bit counts. Of course, he doesn't have a shipment of either of the things we need. I 
This should at least get us somewhere, you know, with what we want to build. And yeah, we'll just give him the caps. Why not? Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and end it off there. I'll do what I want to do with the power armors in between. And next time we'll do more Weathervane quests. We got to go to Camp Kendall's. So thank you for watching and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.